6109 Crystal Talon. I'm gonna get a little bit of a cleanup here just to, you know, some of these leaves. There's a really cute uh, community garden and playground area. You can't park on that side of the street, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. The streets have a nice wide feel to them. the entry. The carpet looks like it may just need a deep cleaning. It may be okay after that. I would say a repaint as well. This home just feels very spacious to me. So the grout is dark, but once there's a fridge here, you won't be able to tell the color difference. Lots of counter space. Definitely a cleanup in the backyard. But it looks like we have some rock installed. And a smaller patio. The light isn't working in this bathroom, but we have vinyl floors. Cabinets seem fine, except for that mark there, but we'll see what John can do about that. The water fixture itself appears fine, as does the drain stop. And the light fixture doesn't have rust or anything. Those are gigantic light bulbs. But um, that bathroom seems okay. I couldn't get a light to turn on in here either. that need the two and a half inch velvet blinds so far. Jenny's call on the window over the kitchen sink. Final in this bathroom as well. The cabinets look fine for the most part. I mean, they've been used of course, but need a shower rod in here. This is great, it's a one piece, doesn't require grout or caulking. Wonderful loft area. So I'll count these as windows four and five. Six. Seven. The rooms have fans, which is great. And eight. Place that with some ceramic tile. It's about five dollars a square foot. On the second floor, you may need to install some type of hardy backer, which is a little over a dollar a square foot. These are very small areas that need the ceramic put in, so we're not talking about a large expense. Okay, 